For years, Butte's pre-release program has been located in this cluster of buildings in the heart of Uptown Butte. But a recent purchase from the Department of Corrections could move the pre-release program to here at the former Acadia, Montana program, located south of town, far from the more populated Uptown Business District. What the new facility has, it has a yard where they can exercise, it has two gymnasiums, something that they don't have right now. It allows them to, to be able to take care of their clientele in a, in a facility that's built for them. The CCCS has been operating the pre-release out of these buildings on Broadway since 1983, housing nonviolent offenders transitioning out of the prison system. Some people have objected to having the program in Buttes Uptown. The pre-releasers, I mean, they try to do what they can. It's still kind of intimidating for people because you no, know, people are unpredictable more and more every day. Some believe moving the pre-release clients to this more isolated location is better than having them in the busy uptown area. They wouldn't be tempted to break out or stay out during the events that we have uptown, like the Folk Fest and St. Patty's Day and then end up doing something they're not supposed to do and end up back in prison. Some uptown business owners say the pre-release have been good neighbors. I personally have felt this is about the safest street in Butte because it is well supervised and um, the interactions are really pretty minimal. Well, if they get better uh, resources and a safer place and they're more comfortable, then that's fine. I don't have a problem either way. The Department of Corrections paid $5.7 million to purchase the former Acadia facility located on Basin Creek Road just south of Harrison Avenue. There's no time set when the move will be made, but the city is confident the buildings on Broadway will be sold. Those, those buildings will be highly marketable and, and so I think it just goes to the building of the future of our community. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.